everybody. Welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So welcome back to a Vlogmas video. This is just going to be our weekly grocery haul. This is going to be Vlogmas day number seven. I do hope that's right. Day seven, just our grocery haul. Um, and we shopped at Walmart this week. I had a $75 budget. We went over just a little. I spent $81. I did have enough to cover that. But I'm always looking to see how I can either scale back things or I can buy things for the next week. So here is what we were able to get. So I am trying to prepare for Christmas. Remember, we do Christmas breakfast. And just a couple of these things I will use for Christmas breakfast. But I will actually have to go out next week on Tuesday, which is Christmas Eve, and prepare for Christmas breakfast, uh, all the things. So there may not be a Christmas week grocery haul, but there will be a Christmas breakfast grocery haul. So let me share with you what I was able to get. I picked up one of the things of Max Pork Rinds for $2.98. We get our Angel Soft Tissue. That was about $4 and change. Then we picked up this uh, Great Value Mayo. Now this is way bigger than what we normally get. It's probably not perfect keto macros, but it's what we can afford. And the reason we got this is because the um, smaller generic one, they were out of the, they had light and I was trying to get the full fat. So this was $3.88, but this will last us for a couple of weeks. We picked up some of the two good yogurts. The kids eat these. They were $1.24 each. I picked up some organic coconut flour. Now we don't use coconut flour a lot. And the reason is because I like almond flour better. So this will probably last me old months. Whereas almond flour, I have to buy that pretty regularly. But um, this was $3.77. I need this for that Southern Keto's uh, that cake recipe because that now has become my base recipe for every cake that I make. And then I just do, um, I make adjustments to it, like with my frostings or whatever, or, you know, whatever I'm going to add to it. But I don't use any other keto cake mix recipe except Southern Keto's because it is the best that I have found. Um, so $3.77 for that. We picked up two things of the thick sliced bologna. The kids just like this for lunches. So that was $0.92 cent a piece. We picked up some seasoned collard greens at $1.24 each. We got our sugar-free candy. That was 4 98 broccoli florets we tried to get the dollar bags we could not they did not have any of those so we got a, a three pound four ounce bag it was about six dollars so i probably doubled what i could have gotten six bags you know six bags would have been six dollars but they didn't have it this does have the um where you can uh, close it, press to close it. So I figured we could just measure some out and it would be fine. So $5.98 for that. Picked up some of the carb counter wraps. They were $2.82 and I did have a 75 cent off coupon. They don't double at uh, Walmart, but it was still some cents off that was helpful. Cheese was $1.97. Then the sliced cheese was $1.33. I picked up the big butter this week, partially because I've been making cakes. Um, one a week, kind of like the former Mrs. Jones where she does her once a week um, dessert and we just eat off of it all week. So this was $5.98, but I will need this for Christmas. Picked up the uh, grated parm, $2.36. Picked up some of this Goya Saison, $1.08, and then $1.60 for the heavy whipping cream. This butter flavored spray was $1.38. The shrimp raw were five dollars and the pink salmon was four dollars we picked up some of the unsweetened vanilla almond milk this was a dollar 82 we got the um hickory sugar-free g hughes for 262 three bags of cauliflower i made a really good cauliflower au gratin this weekend uh pass and it was just the best so i'm gonna try to do that they were a dollar a piece we picked up the uh, sugar-free chocolate jello pudding which was 50 cents Alana has requested a chocolate cake this week. So we have made um, chocolate vanilla butter toffee cake. We have made the strawberry cake and we have also made the pumpkin. So we're just going to do a plain, well plain, but a chocolate this week. Uh, the diet cram ginger ale was 
125 and then this is not grocery item but i did add it in i love to have candles in my house and sometimes i can't afford them or they're not within my budget i don't want to say i can't afford them they're just not in my budget but i uh, splurged and this week i picked up two candles they were three dollars each so everything total was like 80 oh and the eggs we picked up the 60 count eggs today um we had a potluck at work at one of my schools and I did deviled eggs and they really got rave reviews. So I was happy to be able to take those. So we do eggs for Christmas breakfast. Not sure if this will last us to next week, but we do have some in the fridge. So I think we'll be okay to do, um, just get one. If not her Aldi had them on sale for a good price. I just pick up a couple more at Aldi. So, um, if I were going to try to stick within a more reasonable budget. Here's some things that I could have done. This takes off $6. I could have taken off $6. This is $7.25. Um, what else could I have done? I could have gotten one of these, which would have been another $3. So that's like $10 and some change. We did not have to get this. That would have been $15. Um, we could have totally not gotten this. That would have been another uh, $6. So that would have been $21. Take off this. That would have been $25. So just a few items here. I could have taken off and shaved off about $25 from the budget. Again, I do all my household items and grocery items in the same. So I don't have a separate category for household, but it works out perfectly. Again, next week is Christmas. We still do have some things in our freezer. We were gifted a ham last week. So we're going to have ham and collard greens for Christmas evening. Um, the kids, the older kids will be gone by then, but it'll be me and the little kids. And that will be a couple meals. And I'm actually thinking about just halving it, just cutting the ham down the middle, saving half in the freezer and just cooking half. Because again, it's just going to be me and the little kids here. So as far as meals, I don't have a meal plan set yet. I'm off from work on Friday. I do know that tonight we're having chicken and some lamb chops. We just had one package of chicken thighs and a package of lamb chops. So I'm just going to make that. Um, we do have the shrimp and the salmon. So those will be two meals. And then I know we are doing some ranch chicken uh, drumsticks this weekend because i told alana we just do them on saturday because i have more time so that would get us through and then on sundays we always have a rotisserie chicken so that's a brief lots of chicken but it's what we have in our fridge and we are okay eating chicken if we have to eat it every day it's no problem i did not pick up any markdown meats today just because i was trying to stay within my budget and shop on my list so when i see you again for my uh christmas day grocery haul i will share with you the plan that i do have already in place and then we will then pick up just the last few little items that i need for um those particular items the big kids are coming and they're bringing some friends so they always kind of chip in a little bit with you know what i need so trandon may bring the bacon shamika may bring the pancakes and the grits and then mom fills in with everything else so we'll have a big breakfast spread and as many family and friends that want to come over and eat with us so anywho there it is just a brief grocery haul vlogmas day number seven we are so excited that you decided to come and hang out with us thank you so much for dropping by if you like this video thumb it up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and we'll see you next time bye now